here I am discussing about ORD, CD, CB. What is meant by ORD is optical rotatory dispersion and CD is circular dichroism and CB is circular bifringence. All these three are depending on the polarization of light. Generally, an ordinary light consists of different wavelengths which are vibrating in different planes. Which are vibrating in different planes. So, this is an ordinary light. So, this is an ordinary light. It is also known as unpolarized light. Unpolarized light. But ORD, CD and CB are depending on the polarized light. That process is known as polarization of light. We need polarized light. For converting an unpolarized light to polarized light, we need a polarizer. Uh, what is a polarizer light means? A beam of polarizer light has a vibration only in one plane. That type of uh, vibration of wavelength is known as polarizer light. That means it vibrates only in one plane, in any direction, but it vibrates in only in one plane. That type of light, uh, light radiation is known as polarizer light. As we all know that electro light is in light is a form of electromagnetic wave. Light is a form of electromagnetic wave. It is having both elec electric uh, electrical component and magnetic component. Electric and magnetic component. So both these electric and magnetic components are perpendicular to each other. Both is uh, light is in the form of electromagnetic wave and it is having electric component and magnetic component and both these electric component and magnetic component are perpendicular to each other. Let us see, uh, let us consider a source of light which is vibrating in different directions. Uh, so uh, in this source of light, let us consider a single beam of light which is having both electrical component and magnetic component. As we said that electric component and magnetic component are perpendicular to each other. Uh, so red line is indicated for electrical component and blue line is indicated for magnetic component. Here it is having a three axis. This is a x axis, y axis and z axis. This is in the form of 3D. So three dimensional way. So it is an unpolarized light. So when unpolarized light is passed through a nickel prism, what is uh, this polarizer do? It allows only an electrical component. Uh, it it allows only it, it allows to pass only an electrical component. In spectroscopic studies, uh, mo mostly will deal with electric component rather than magnetic component. Electrical component is more um, beneficial for the studying of spectral analysis. So we are considering only electrical component and neglecting the magnetic component. So after uh, unpolarized light is passed through a polarizer, we will get this plain polarized light which is in the form of 2D. This is the only electrical component. It is also known as plain polarized light or else a linearly polarized light. It is having a fixed path of propagation. So this is all about the polarization of light for and converting the unpolarized light to polarized light. Now coming to the concept of ORD, optical rotatory dispersion means uh, the source of light from the source of light we are getting unpolarized light and through the uh, with the help of polarizer we are converting the unpolarized light to plain polarized light here the polarizers are nicole prism or galen thompson prism or thoromeline crystal any one of these uh, polarizer can be used for converting unpolarized light to plain polarized light so mostly nicole prism is used as a polarizer for converting this so when the unpolarized light is uh, passed through a polarizer, we will, we will get a plain polarized light. In this ORD dis uh, optical rotatory dispersion, we are using an optically active compound. So what is meant by an optically active compound? The compound which is having a chiral carbon, chiral center and which is, uh, which is capable of rotating the plane of polarized light. That type of compounds are known as optically active compounds. Chiral compound, as, uh, as you all know that the, car the carbon which is having four different functional groups, that type of carbon is known as chiral carbon. 
which is an optically active that means mirror image exists so which is also having the property of rotating the plane of polarized light it is a plane of polarized light when it is passed through an optically active compound it rotates with either uh, either in clockwise or anti clockwise so if the compound is an uh, if the uh, when the plane polarized light is passed through an optically co active compound if it rotates in a left side direction that is in anti clockwise direction then it is a levo rotatory compound it is also known as left linearly polarized light if it is rotating in right side that is in clockwise direction then it, it is known as dextro rotatory compound also known as right linearly polarized light the examples for levo rotatory compounds are proteins phospholipids lipids etc and the examples for dextro rotatory are carbohydrates like uh, glucose fructose sucrose so the main definition for optical rotatory dispersion is it measures the ability of an optically active compound in uh, clockwise or anti clockwise direction it measures whether it is clockwise rotating or anti clockwise rotating so ord tells whether the optically active compound is levo rotatory or dextro rotatory so this is the process of ord now coming to the concept of circular dichroism cd cd means circular dichroism till here the process is same for both ord and cd source of light unpolarized light in converting uh, unpolarized light to plane polarized light we are using polarizer and uh, after the plane polarized light is produced uh, the plane polarized light is uh, instanted on a photoelastic modulator or else we can use pockel cell or electro optic modulator when the plane polarized light is incident on photoelastic modulator it converts the plane polarized light into circularly polarized light it rotates the it converts the plane polarized light into circularly polarized light it is having both left circularly polarized light and right circularly polarized light from left side this is known as left circularly polarized light and from right side starting from right it is known as right circularly polarized light so a plane polarized light instanted on a, a photoelastic modulator converts this into circularly polarized light then the circularly polarized light is incident on an anisotropic medium or optically active compound anisotropic medium means it is having a direction dependent so anisotropic medium or an optical active compound we can use so when circularly polarized light is incident then it it absorbs both the magnitude of right circularly polarized light and left circularly polarized light it absorbs both but there is a difference between the rcpl and lcpl if the magnitude of rcpl is more and the magnitude of lcpl is less it can be comes like this if the magnitude of lcpl is more and rcpl is less like this so the difference in the magnitude of uh, rcpl and lcpl uh, tells about the cd so circular dichroism is used for the uh, measurement of absorption difference in absorption of rcpl and lcpl and now coming to the circular bifringence topic circular bifringence means when rcpl and lcpl components of a beam of plane polarized light are transmitted with equal speed without any rotation no rotation of plane polarized light will be observed those type of compounds are known as that process is known as circular bifringence in circular dichroism we are having some difference between uh, rcpl and lcpl but in circular bifringence there is no difference between rcpl and lcpl they travel with equal speed so there will be no difference between rcpl and lcpl the that type of process is known as circular bifringence and difference will be told in circular dichroism thank you